You're such an asshole. Assholeconsulting.com, we have an interesting three-part question. Wait, did he pay for an email or did you pay for a video? You paid for a video, okay. Paid for a video. Said email, paid for a video. You get a video, you get. Dear asshole, email request, question, inquiry. Question one, is there really a student loan bubble? Question two, if the student loan bubble pops, what will happen to the student loans is that someone has? Example, a recent graduate has $35,000 in debt. What then happens when the bubble pops? Question three, what will be the consequences for students, recent graduate society, and the economy when the bubble bursts? If no bursting, then what happens? Okay, so <clears throat> the first thing, is there a student loan bubble? There is, but it is slowly deflating. Um, this is in part for, a, I don't want to say cacophony of reasons, but multiple reasons, slowly attacking the bubble. And unlike, say, a stock market bubble, or a housing bubble, or any other of the traditional kind of uh, financial stock market bubbles, this one is a little bit different because it's it's not a liquid currency. It's not a liquid uh, security. Stocks are trading up and down every day. Housing prices through REITs, real estate investment trusts, are going up and down every day. Whereas education, a college degree, it takes four years to get at minimum. There's no immediately telling whether or not you're going to be successful or not. <clears throat> and it's it's really an individual by individual basis. Like a person with, you know, $100,000 in student loans from Middlebury University for some worthless dick-sucking degree. Um, it, it is, it's going to take years to figure out whether or not that person... May, and here's another thing, a huge resistance to prices going down is ego. <clears throat> People who go to college and get these degrees you got to understand at least two-thirds, two-thirds of the people that get degrees, they're worthless degrees, and these college degrees are the only things these people have ever accomplished. Which makes sense because when you're a 22-year-old, the, the biggest thing you should have ever accomplished by that time is college. But to admit that you wasted all this time in, in not only college, but building up to it so you could attend college, K through college, admitting you wasted those 17 years on a degree that's worthless, I'd say at least half of the college students not half of the two-thirds, half, because two-thirds are going to worthless crap, and the majority of them, ergo half the college students, are going to never admit <clears throat> and tell the market that their degrees in education is worthless. So it's not like Procter & Gamble fails to make earnings estimates, or the Bureau of Labor, not Bureau of Labor Statistics, the Bureau of Economic Analysis comes out and says GDP contracted by 2%, and bam, that information hits the market, and it crashes, and it's a, it's a, a bursting, a, gen, a literal bursting of the bubble. Or somebody doesn't buy a house, or mortgage-backed securities default, and then bam, housing prices go down rather quickly. This is a much more entrenched, molasses-moving commodity, if we can co even call it that, where there's a lot of ego and, and, and resistance to a rapid decrease in the price. Now, things are deflating it slowly. One, alternative media, even regular traditional media, they were slow. It took them about 15, it took, it took there's, there's alternative media of which I'm part of. I was on this decade, well not decades ago, but damn well near decades ago, I think 15 years ago. And where I started tolling the bells, sounding the alarms. The uh, alternative media picked up on it pretty much right then and there. Then the conservative talk radio people, like the Fox Newses and the Sean Hannity's, the slowpoke gunslingers, like they're the share, like we're the fast gun, we're like, <laughs> we're Doc Holliday, all right? Uh, the Sean Hannity's, the Rush Limbaugh's, they're, they're sheriffs and they're good people, but they're a little slow on drawing their guns and bad bark who was the left is going to gun them down. So they got into it about 10 years after the fact. And even the leftist mainstream news media is sometimes they slowly admit it that, that there's an education. You should be majoring in the liberal arts. So that's one thing. Uh, regardless, there has been enough alternative media that <clears throat> applications to liberal arts colleges have gone down. A lot of law schools, especially the crap tier, not first tier, second tier, but the crap tier, a lot of them are closing down because people are just like, I can't afford it, this isn't worth it. it it's getting out there uh, that these degrees are worthless. 
I think even M yeah, a lot of MBA programs are now starting to close down. Now they're just doing the E MBA, MBA, the Executive MBA, or the Evening MBA. So it is getting out there. The, the the canard and the lie that any degree is a good degree, and you follow your heart, and the money will follow. Another the slap uh, uh, claptrap baby boomers told us. They're starting to wake up, and I think a lot, you know, millennials, and if anything else, I think Gen Z has watched their millennial older brothers and sisters just absolutely get the shit kicked out of them in the labor market and saying, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> and they're the ones who are going to college now, or about to go to college, and they're just like, whoa, I'll, I'm just going to go work. Uh, you know, um, fuck you and your $80,000 in debt for your English degree, uh older sis, I'm going to go and just be a waitress and then I'll buy a house. I'll buy your house when you get foreclosed upon because you and your dipshit hippie salmon wearing boy, cut jeans wearing boyfriend had kid and he's got his little mustache, you know, like, God, you guys are, the millennials, you guys are such fucking losers. Not all of you, but man, what a, what a, what a pathetic, history is going to look back at you guys and be like, what the fuck? You are going to look back and say, what the fuck? Um, so that is doing that. And then let's not just forget good old fashioned labor force economics. Uh, <clears throat> the, the lack of jobs out there, you could get a job, but it has gonna have nothing to do with the degrees that you majored in. All these kids thinking they're gonna become anthropologists or museum people or whatever, whatever stupid bullshit you read in your Dr. Seuss, all oh, the places you will go book, they're waking up to. And the, the starting salaries and median salaries and just the flood of people with degrees where now people are requiring masters. People say, wait, wait, I'm not going to school. Look, if 17 years wasn't enough of an education, if you couldn't educate, you couldn't get me skilled up in 17 years, what's an extra two years and $100,000 going to do? Um, so, oh, there was another reason. Oh, and then the third major reason that the student loan bubble is deflating, not crashing. There's <clears throat> more and more inroads using the internet, finally, it's taken 20 years, but we finally are starting to get accredited colleges online that are free or near free, or at least certainly cheap. ASU online, uh, Western Governors University online, different universities are offering some programs online at, at a heavy discount. Uh, also, an increasing part of the economy is not requiring college degrees as much as they are certification and skills. And I think there's a bit of resurgence in the trades that even though the Bakken oil field has bursted, burst, bursted it, did, um, it has reminded people that people who make the trades uh, make pretty good money. And there's nothing to poo poo about someone being a mechanic or a plumber or a chimney sweeper who make damn fine money, by the way. Uh, so, this cacophony, this orchestra of individual things slowly turning on the lights and slowly turning on the lights on people's brains are like, hey, wait a minute. I don't think a degree in African American studies is worth a hundred thousand dollars. Even though I'm black and you told me to hate white people from kindergarten on now, I, I think, even though I don't know any guy Who's black that sounds like this? Well, I think that that's not worth it. I'm gonna go and become a computer engineer. So uh, I think it is slowly getting worse. In other words, reality is slowly starting to beat the dream, the lies, the the brainwashing, the indoctrination. Gen Z got even millennials. Some of them, I mean, deep down, like when a woman goes out and parties. At a nightclub, she's all gutsied up and shooting down all the guys. No, get away. Mm. Oh, oh Lee, don't do it to me. All that other shit. And then she cries herself to sleep at night. It's kind of like that. Millennial's like, I'm an educator. And then at night, they're like, I'm the barista and I sling coffee. <laughs> I know someone who's like this big feminist. She has a master's degree in some bullshit or another. And she slings coffee and she hates my guts. But every night, man, that you, you can't be that stupid to not realize what a pissing away of your life and the, your money that degree was. So I, I do believe deep down inside some people realize. So it's not, um, it's not government figures came out and now it crashes. It's not, oh my gosh, the Saudis jacked up oil production and the Bakken field crashes. Uh, it is a slowly awakening on the part of society where we're realizing 
college is, and here's another thing, baby boomers aren't having kids anymore, and their kids are pretty much gone through the college system, even the younger ones. So now you have Gen Xers who aren't quite as like, any degree is a good degree. Well, back in 1964, we just, I know my buddy Jim, and he got an MBA, and he made a quarter million a year. Or, you know, they're not telling you to go pan for gold and, like they did in 1876. So that, that, that has passed through to the digestive tract. And now a generation more in tune with the fingers on the pulse of the, today's labor market is starting to say, hey, college may not be worth it. So there is a bubble. Most college degrees are not, they really are not worth, I mean, really, you can at least wipe your, your ass with toilet paper. Two-thirds of all, all liberal arts and humanities, all, all are worthless. Uh, and there's still two-thirds of the people, that's where they get their degrees. Um, but pe fewer and fewer people are going to liberal arts, especially the pricey private colleges. Fewer and fewer people are getting law degrees, fewer and fewer people going to MBA programs. So it is slowly deflating and diffusing. Question two, if the student loan bubble pops, what will happen to the student loans that someone has? Example, a recent graduate has 30000 What happens when the bubble pops? Nothing. They borrowed money. That has nothing to do with the student loan market or anything like it. If the bubble pops and no one goes to worthless colleges, that doesn't change the fact that either the federal government or a bank or some entity has lent some student $30,000. It would be no different than like, well, what happens to my car loan if the economy goes into recession? Nothing. I still owe the car company or the leasing company or the, the bank $20,000. Uh, now, what might happen is Trump is a one-termer or maybe he's even a two-termer, but when Trump is out of office, I'm quite certain they're going to have a Democrat win the presidency. I'm pretty sure the Democrats are going to win uh, the <clears throat> Congress and all that, and in a very Obama-like way, just like they passed nationalized health care, uh, and just like they had TARP bailouts, I think they're going to bail out the students. Now, hopefully over eight years, the student loans are paid down, people stop borrowing so much money, technology comes in and saves us and essentially makes all these degrees. Really, Like Jordan Peterson is trying to... Uh, as you want to talk about slow draw McGraw, I mean, I love how everybody worships Jordan Peterson. I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I was sending sniper bullets from three miles away 15 years ago, and now this guy comes out and says, hey, wait a minute here. <laughs> I'm Sheriff Jordan Peterson. I'll shoot back at you. Hang on. Oh, I got to put bullets in my gun. War right now, bam! And then everyone, all the family, hey, Sheriff Peterson, hooray! It was like, fucking Christ. <sighs> it, it sucks to be ahead of your time. I even have a video on it, being ahead of your time. It was ahead of his time, it doesn't pay. <laughs> oh, where was it going with this? Um, oh, so they'll. But I'm hoping the likes of Sher uh, Sheriff Jordan Peterson. I'm just going to call him Sheriff Jordan Peterson. <laughs> Who dang diggly? Tin badge. <laughs> um, I can't pick on him. He's, do he's doing the right thing. Um, he wants to, wants to get basically liberal arts and humanities degrees for free. Get the money out of education. Uh, online classes and just the general knowledge. Uh, hopefully... Uh, students by that time will have been paying off their student loans uh, and we're not going to have to bail them out. So in like eight years time, if you millennials could get all, and, and Gen Xers by the way, who still have student loan debts, because I got to get a master's degree because my boss said so. If you guys could kindly be adults and pay off your student loans, that'd be great. Because if you get bailed out, and this is not an, op this is not an opinion, this is like literally a fact, you are no better than those bankster scum that you all claim to hate so much. You're just parasites. Bankers lent out money to bad investments. You borrowed money for a bad investment, and then you all want to be bailed out. You, you are, you're indistinguishable from the bankster scum uh, that you OWS protesters protest. Anyway, so nothing happens to that debt. It's still there. Um, it'd be nice if it was gone. Then maybe there'd be some consumer spending or some investing, and but... Uh, no, I think this is, sadly, I think the millennials are just going to be a wasted generation in terms of economic growth, potential, and all. I mean, some, of course, will go on to achieve great things, but 
You want to talk about a generation that was just crippled by their own naivete and stupidity, not to mention the brainwashing baby boomers and Gen Xers gave them. That's it. So the deck does not go away. What will be the consequence for students, recent graduate society, and the economy when the bubble bursts? If no bursting, then what happens? Well, it's, it's kind of what's happening now. Um, the consequences is, it's, it's a good thing. But, but when stock, everyone worried about stock market crashes. When asset prices crash in general, it could be stocks, housing, commodities, education. When the prices go down, that means it's cheaper. That means future people, because we're all cared about the future and the children. Once you turn 18, fuck you. Um, things get cheaper, which means that you now a lot more businesses become viable and profitable, which means employment goes up because, okay, that, that old factory cost me $10 million. Uh, prices collapsed so much, now it's down to $5 million. Oh, now it's profitable for me to open up, you know, Clary's Boot Shop. You want boots? You want Clary to make them? Go to Clary's Boot Shop. And then I employ boot makers, and, and then we make money, and they, they got employment, and so that's how economies grow. Um, stocks, every millennial and Gen Xer and, and Gen Z should be cheering for the stock market to crash to like zero starting tomorrow so we can buy cheap stocks for our retirement. Um, but everyone's like, oh, the stock market goes up. It's a good thing. Um, but with... With schools closing, tuition still goes up at like accredited universities in the government system. But I'm forecasting, I'm predicting maybe not this year or next, but within our lifetimes, you're going to see it flatten and then even go down. And some schools are starting to do that. They're starting to like, what was it? Silvio Canto sent me, was it Georgetown? Were they cutting their tuition? Um... The, the already existing schools are not going to cut their tuition. It's too much of a money maker for these worthless liberal arts graduates who got the doctors, the deans, their admission reserve, vice diversity, nipple sucking directors, or <laughs> whatever it is they do over there. They're not going to give up their easy jobs. But the online schools, the online colleges, the Jordan Peterson, they're going to come up with other schools that are just going to be a fraction of the cost and they're going to be certified or accredited. <clears throat> and so prices will go down. So education will once again become more affordable. I don't think people are going to go back into the liberal arts because there's just no reason to. You might study it for fun and as long as it's dirt cheap, but you're not going to go and become a professor. Well, some people will, but you're not, you're not going to go and get a philosophy degree thinking you're going to go and work in philosophy. Uh, I think people are slowly getting more educated. They're getting more realistic. And I think just the bloodbath that the millennials went through with the education, but that's how they got raped. On big screen TV, uh, Gen Z is watching that and paying attention to a certain extent. <clears throat> so, what will the consequences be? I think you're going to see people leaving the liberal arts and going more into the trades, maybe just not going into education at all. Just like, you know what, I'll just go work wherever. I'll drive, I'll get my CDL license. You're going to see more licensing, you're going to see more certifications, and more IT. Um, I think that's what's going to happen. Consequence for student recent graduates. Is there any economy of the bubble bursts? Um, and then students of recent graduates. Well, for recent graduates, it's too late. They've they've got their degree. They they've borrowed the money, so it's moot to them. They just gotta. They'll have to go back to school for something if they have a worthless degree. Current students, I I implore you to reconsider what you're majoring in. If you're majoring in the liberal arts, if you got a question, go read the book Worthless, um, written by a moi. But I say that not to make money. I say that to make money and because it's going to be a damn good book for you to read to make sure you save. You know, Watch my previous video. This kid was a political science major. Now he's computer science. Smart kid. Um, but what, what, what I expect to happen is what's happening now. People are slowly waking up. Now, we still have slow economic growth, but people are slowly waking up. To just what what a bad deal college is and once once you get the mainstream media even admitting it sheepishly and tacit as it may be um th then you know that oh, okay because ultimately it's in their best financial interests not to like not to punish themselves. I'm perfectly happy when leftists go major in leftist liberal arts bullshit because there's nothing worse you can do. I love it when feminists decide that they hate men and they don't need men in that because there's nothing worse than you can do. Um, 
I love it when fat acceptance people say, I'm big and proud and like, there's nothing worse than you can do. Please do that. You're going to ruin your life. Uh, but I think with college, since there's a price tag associated with it, people are like, oh, okay, let's set aside politics. Yeah, this isn't going to pay off. So um, I, I think it, it's a good trend. I'm going to be very curious to see which way it goes. But it's going to be slow. It's going to be molasses. It's going to be glacial. Because for every video we do here and every Jordan Peter, Sheriff Peterson, a little cork pop gun, poop. Hey, Fort Beck. Um, there's, there's 10 families where the mom is like, you need to get a college degree. I need to break to my, my female friends at the soccer mom club, otherwise I, cause I didn't achieve anything. So you gotta, I gotta live vicariously through you. I need value worth through you. Get to college, go to college. So that, there's that, but we're making, we're slowly turning it around. And hopefully with IT and technology and online classes and online college, especially accredited ones. Um, that is really going to take a lot of steam out of this bubble. Again, it's not going to be a crash, but it, I mean, I, I really, um, I really have faith. And, and I don't say that and idealistically, I see it cause it's happening. People are going there. You could get an accredited degree for like $6,000. No, it's $3,000 a year. Um, or these certifications, you don't need to go to college. Like Microsoft has this great data science, um, uh, Certification. I, it's just, I, I mean, even employers might be waking up. They look. They got rid of the HR lady. They're on their way out. They're just outsourcing the recruiters now, which may even be worse. But people are starting to realize, like, yeah, college degrees are kind of worthless, and we're we're not gonna we're not gonna require. Still, still have the old hey, master is preferred. Five years experience in a software that's only been out three. There's still gonna be that old leftover egg. Uh, but it's slowly making it, it it's going to be better times. Uh, dare I be optimistic on something? Dare I be optimistic? It might be better times for Gen Z. All right, that's it. You guys got questions, go to assholeconsulting.com. Where I, the world's only professional asshole, the Dark Knight of Advice column, America's older brother, will answer your questions and put you in the right direction for a price. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.